All right, we are about to be live. It is connecting to YouTube. YouTube is receiving my content. And pretty soon I will be live. Couple of more seconds here. Couple of more. I don't think that's quite right. All right, I am live now. I am live now. Uh, so hello, welcome to Crate Storm. My name is EP, and uh, today we will be playing through Ukulele. Now, I will be doing a number of other things on the channel. I will be doing unboxings and tech news, and I will be playing through other games. But for the time being, uh, th doing this playthrough of Ukulele is going to be the main thing that I am working on. Uh, along with an unboxing coming sometime between around July 10th and July 12th. It's a very, very... Uh, interesting, in my opinion, gaming item, and you will not want to miss it. So make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss that unboxing. Uh, with no further ado, uh, I'm going to roll the intro and then talk a little bit about ukulele and we can start the game. Crate Store. There we go, the perfect intro, short and sweet. I mean, not perfect in really any other way, but at least it's nice and short. And it says our name, uh, which, like was mentioned earlier, is Crate Storm. Subscribe down below to Crate Storm. Now, uh, before we begin, this game, Ukulele, was just released earlier this year in 2017. I'm playing it on PC, it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. But it's also available on PS4 and Xbox One, and uh, at some point will be coming out on Nintendo Switch, but no one exactly knows when. Um, this game is intended as a spiritual successor to the 1998 hit Banjo-Kazooie, which became the 10th best-selling game on the Nintendo 64. And uh, much like it, it's got two protagonists who are in the name. In this game, it's Yuka and Laylee. Yuka is a, a lizard-looking thing right up there where it says Rextro's Arcade, that's Yuka. And then Laylee is a bat-looking thing who you'll see in the game. Um, also, Ukulele, meant to sound like the instrument Ukulele, which is very similar to a banjo, as in Banjo-Kazooie. So uh, with no further ado from here uh, whatsoever, we're going to get started on the game. The main adventure. Uh, yeah, I think that's all. Let's begin. Game one, new game. There we go. Still got a bit of Diet Dr. Pepper here. This is a small channel, so you know it's not sponsored. I just love Diet Dr. Pepper. And we're opening on a cutscene. Not pre-rendered, by the way, I don't think. Which is a shame, because the frame rate is going to drop here pretty soon. Right now it's solidly above 60, but it's not going to stay that way for long. So there we got the main villain, and his uh, vice president of sorts. Right, everything has been prepared to your specification, capital B. So that guy must be named capital B. Which is a pretty good name for a villain, I must say. Alright, let's see. Golden enough or too golden? I would say a little too golden. Just a little bit. Uh, of course, if you look below, you will see what we will soon be focused on. Yes, I have watched this specific cutscene before. Alright, Vice President, not too happy about that. Not too much respect for the Vice President of the company. It's casting an awkward shadow. And the VP goes along with it. Synergize. Of course they say synergize, synergy, you're gonna have some form of that. Make it sound nice and uh, corporate. And I love this, Novelizer 64. Nintendo 64, this is, like I said, an homage to Banjo-Kazooie. So, it's got all kinds of references like that in there. Alright, only player, maybe that's a pun, where players were playing the game. Probably not. Alright, 
World 4. I think that would constitute a fourth wall break. Actually talking about the worlds in a game within the game. Is it just me or does this guy seem like Jar Jar Binks? The little duck guy, I mean. He's got the big beak that sticks out like Jar Jar, he's pretty clumsy. Alright, the special book. What is that supposed to be? And now we see some books going into a funnel, and I think we are about to meet Yuka and Lele. There they are. Like I said, a lizard and a bat looking thing. Lizard on the right, that's Yuka. Left, that's Lele. I gotta love these voices. Uh 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 uh. It's accurate to uh to Bad Kazooie, but still very entertaining. <laughs> Something tells me it's gonna be a book. Wonder why. Delicious they were. So this guy sounds like Yoda now. Gotta wonder if these guys were Star Wars fans too. Pirate treasure? Well of course it looks antique. Unless you're talking Somali pirates. Ah, my profit book. Seems like something that that uh, villain there would be talking about. And there go all the books, into the funnel. It's more special than you thought. Maybe it's the special book. Alright, I gotta go after it. I think this is where the gameplay begins. Yes, it is. So I'm doing this with WASD keys, not with um, with an analog stick, which I would assume you're supposed to. But I think we can still make it work. It's a shame, though, I don't have one of those pressure-sensitive keyboards, because then I would be able to like adjust it, uh, adjust how fast he's going, adjust all that, just like with an analog stick. So that makes him jump. Let's try. Okay, so mouse is camera, and if we click, nothing. Alright, arrow keys are also controlling them as well as the WASD keys. So we're getting above 60 frames a second and that's good to see, but the controls do not feel as tight as I would hope for. Not that there's lag so much as it just takes Yuka a while to slow down. Let's see, is it Q? E? Tab, no. Shift, control, control crouches. Shift, not shift. We may need to take a look at the options here, so let's go escape. Let's go all the way down to options. This is not a very mouse-heavy game, so I can't use my mouse to navigate through any of this. But let's go to the sound, or no, why the sound? The controls, there we go. Crouch toggle, roll toggle, vibration. That's not quite what we're looking for. I may just need to try every key on the keyboard. Right click. Right click makes that happen. Click doesn't seem to be doing anything just yet. Middle click? Nope. R T Y U I O P. Okay, so P pauses. We know that now. We know A S D F G H J K L Z. Could it be Z? No. XC. So X also makes him jump. C is the same as the right click there. Makes him stick his tongue out. V, B, N, M. Looks like there is no activate button. Unless it's one, two, three. No, these just look like various little things they can do for 
entertainment. Oh boy. Punctuation time, comma, period, apostrophe, semicolon, slash, right shift, right control, arrow keys, just walking straight through, none of it seems to be working. So let's try going on top. Maybe that will be the answer that we are looking for. Alright, we can kind of push that around. Can't really do much yet. Let's try picking up this fishing pole. That's not happening. We go over to the telescope, see if we can do anything with that. Looks like we cannot. Alright, this is uh, this is interesting Just to note. We can't really do anything yet. Well, at least the game looks nice, and uh, we'll still know when it's watching on the live stream, but... It does look nice, so we can walk around here a bit, see the sights, explore the ship. Under the floorboards uh, was said, so maybe we take a look under the floorboards, under the ship. That was enough of that, let's go over here. Let's look at some paint cans. Let's look at some paint cans and let's go inside a building and catch some butterflies. There we go. That's what the butterflies are for. So that's how we refill. Now, I know because of the whole John Tron controversy, where John Tron was voicing a character in this game, but then because of all the controversy surrounding him, he was removed. Uh, and I know from, from videos on that that there is a thing where Laylee can help Yuka fly, but that's really the only thing I, I know as far as the more advanced aspects of the gameplay go. The rest is just exploration. So it looks like over there there may be some kind of bridge that takes us across. As this is the only way out of this little area, that's probably the way we're supposed to go. And it looks like the snake from Snake Pass on Nintendo Switch. Alright, there we go. So it was space to activate that. Lovely to see you. Alright. Alright, so Yuka and Layla, we already know these guys. Trouser, of course, because he's got shorts on and he's a snake. And he's a salesman as well. Oh, a crook. A dodgy flat screen, so not quite 1998. Oh. Surely mistaken. Not sure that's quite the right place to repeat the, uh, the S's there. Flying book. Okay, so this book flies now. For five quills. Alright, those treasure chests lying around. So we're going to learn how to open them now. There we go, that's why we couldn't get him open. Special moves. There we go, maybe that's the flying? Probably not. Alright, Z, let's hope that's the key Z and not the N64 trigger Z. Alright, let's press Z. And there we go, that did it. I guess I will just have to keep my uh, left ring finger on Z while I do WASD with the rest. <laughs> 200 quill in each word, or in each world. We've got book words, so I'm thinking of word. So, so 200, that's, uh, there's at least four worlds we know. So that's going to be 
800. That's almost as many as there are those little uh, Korok seeds in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And make sure to like and comment if you want to see Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild content up here, especially with the two new DLC packs coming out. The one that just came out, and then another one uh, pretty shortly here. So now we can come back up, smash this treasure chest. Spin the little weedle, come back down, smash this barrel. Fall down a ways, don't want to be doing that in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Find another treasure chest. I gotta say, I love the music in this game so far. I might actually uh, go buy the soundtrack to this on Steam. I got this in the summer sale. And I might have to buy the soundtrack as well. Alright, so we've got enough to junk his memory or pay him off for the information. So we're gonna head back over there. We can see the snake now. And we're gonna go talk to him. Also, I am very pleased with this game running consistently over 60 frames a second this whole time. Lispy were calling him now. No wonder they charge him money for information. Alright, the business is beyond the gate. You know, if that snake can fit such a big telephone in his pants, there's probably not much else in there. Alright, allow me to raise the gate. There we go, I think that's what we needed. Let's get that book back before... Trousers. Oh, we didn't give him the quills. And now we're saying it out loud. Of course. So that was really just to teach us how to get the quills for future reference. And how to do this. That, not how to slide down things. That is self-explanatory. But how to do the little spin move. Oh, so it's different when we do it in the air. That is good to know. We probably shouldn't be going that way. And maybe I should map one of my mouse buttons to Z just to, um... Just to make sure... Okay, I'm reading the directions while I'm trying to talk. Just to make sure that uh, I can always get to it. Because I've got a few extra buttons on my mouse. I've got the Razor Naga Hex, which I cannot recommend enough. It's especially useful, surprisingly, in uh, FPS games. Okay, we got to do a double jump. Anyway, in FPS games, because you can switch weapons with the buttons on the side. And this one doesn't have 12 buttons like the Naga. It just has 6, which is very, very convenient. Alright, so that didn't work. Guess we better try again. This reminds me of the thing I hate about non-Nintendo uh, third... Well, third person. All 3D platformers are third person, but 3D platformers like these is the controls. They just did a remake of the Crash Bandicoot games a couple of uh, days ago that came out. That came out on the 30th, I think. It's July 2nd now. And those games are a lot of fun, especially in certain sections of them. But they can be very hard to control, which is an issue. Alright, so now we're learning how to swim. Oh, would you look at that? We use jump to rise and control, which we use to crouch to go back under the water. What a surprise, and now we're back up. I love this style of tutorial, I gotta say. Alright, so these are probably the first enemies we're going to encounter. This is a platformer after all, we may need to battle them somehow. Oh, so they ought to refill, we don't. Interesting. Alright, so we eat by pressing C, apparently. And, uh, Yuka licks with the right click, and we do that little spin move with Z, so that's good to know. 
Okay, C also does the little lick thing. Oh, and uh, regular click does the spin move, so there we go. Alright, better eat another butterfly, and we're back up to speed. Alright, now we're talking. This is getting more and more fun as we go. It's getting funner. I am starting to really like this game, and now I am not questioning my decision to commit to playing all the way through it on here live at all. Hopefully, though, I will be getting more people watching it in the future if our promotion of it goes well. And then this isn't exactly meant as a walkthrough, but you can follow what I'm doing here as a walkthrough. I should probably just talk a little bit about where I'm going. Although I am just figuring it out as I go as well. Alright, so the Vice President guy is telling us he's going to take all the books. What a villainous scheme. A bookmobile. Or Amazon. Who knows. Scram before I call security. Is this a video game or am I on a date again? Ah, uh, no, that was probably a bad joke. I don't know. No one is watching, so I can't uh, gauge the reaction live. Hopefully, though, we will get some more people viewing this, and this will catch on a little bit. Uh, like I've, I've said before, I am going to be playing through this game all the way, probably in 30 minute to 1 hour intervals. Alright, so, it's this guy again, Trousers, we've got up to speed, maybe he'll want his quills now. If that was the only tutorial, that was pretty short, so I'm impressed. I'm very impressed then. Okay, so there's the pages. That is what we've got to go get. we got to go unlock things with that. Ah, yes, World 1, breaking the fourth wall once again. Yeah, right, says Laylee. I forget which one is which. Should I skip these? Say that in the comments. I am not going to skip it for now until I know for sure, because you can just do the little... Two arrow keys go 10 seconds forward, do it another twice, uh, two times, go another 10 seconds, go any multiple of five that you want to go. So, you can skip over this if you want to. But this is still cutscene, if you skipped. And now we are just about back. Okay, we're back to gameplay. So just let me know in the comments if I should skip the cutscenes or not. Okay, yeah, so that's World 2 and that's World 1. Now I see how this is going. Alright, so I gotta get up here. Let's see. Alright, so that one was very unhappy to be stepped on. We gotta get over to this statue somehow. Okay. I think I see how we're going to get there. we got to jump over to that little platform right there, right towards the middle of the screen, and then we're going to get on the diagonally moving one. So we just stand here, and we perform the classic 3D platformer move of waiting. Although for all of my complaints, I am having quite a bit of fun so far. Except for when I fell down there. heroes these days. Okay, the game's starting to win me back over. Cross the gap. Up onto here. And, oh yes! We're back up. The threat has been averted. We're onto here. And not a moment too late. And that happened again. 
So I guess we're going back up. At least this game is pretty fun so far. Uh, also, drop a comment below if you think I should change from 60 frames a second 1080p to 30 frames a second in 2K. And then I'm probably not going to be able to run this game very well in 4K, although I could. So, I mean, if you're okay with, with dropping frame rates down to 30, then we actually probably could go up to 4K. So let me know in a comment. Don't you just love when snakes repeat themselves? I mean, it's only happened to me this one time, but still, it's annoying. Alright, so we've almost got to this statue. And this is going to be a platforming miracle if I can get myself onto something round like that. Yes! Yes! I got it! I finally got it. It took three tries, but I finally got the page. And they spell page differently than usual, because why not? Like the name page. So in other words, you have no idea. Well then, if we have one page, doesn't that mean that he would no longer have the power to rewrite the universe? Because he wouldn't have the whole book, even if he does have all the other pages? I mean, sure, that would be a risk, because then we only have one page to prevent him from getting all the other pages. But still... We really only need this one. We're good now. We can go back to our shipwreck, barricade the thing, surround it with mines, and uh, live as peacefully as we can with our one page preventing this guy from doing much of anything. So this is supposed to be pages or pages? I am not clear on that. I'm going to call them pages unless I get a response to do otherwise, or it becomes more fun to say pages. It's just a matter of either of those two things. So, uh, the one book is just an empty shell. There we go, so we gotta go to world one with this guy. That's why we had to get him up here. Alright. I'm convinced now it's got to be Pagey, so it rhymes with Laylee. So I'm going to call it Pagey, Pagey, and Laylee. <laughs> why don't we come see him for the details? Because we don't trust him, that's why. Okay, okay, yep. Safe landing. Surprisingly, this is a 3D platformer after all. And not the Mario 64 kind, the, uh, well, the other kind. The every other one of them kind. Let's make a deal. Alright, a new move free of charge. So in other words, the quills are for nothing. Just like before, the quills are for nothing. I've actually heard that this isn't much of a uh, collect stuff for collecting stuff's sake game, and I'm hoping that that ends up to be true. Coincidentally, I have heard that Snake Pass is like that. And this guy looks like the guy from Snake Pass. Well, why couldn't you have told us that earlier when we had some slippery ramps to get up? Now we know it's just a matter of pressing shift. Ah, uh, power bar. There we go. Yeah, 
So we got to go up the ramp, and that will take us to World 1. And I think World 1 is where I'm going to cut this off, uh, just because time issues, or not time issues, time reasons, and because I do want to keep these at a manageable length, and uh, I want to break it off by world. So it looks like we're free to go now. I'm going to go over to World 1 here. And we're down. See, there it is. A pagey and a KG. That's what it's got to be. A Maisie. That's not a maze. A maze is A-M-A-Z-E. A pagey and a KG. And a KG a Maisie. A pagey and a KG a Maisie. A pagey and a KG a Maisie. That's what it's saying. Alright, so he's locked in the metal prison. And we know what Laylee's got to do. Nearby puzzles. I've not let, yet learned the correct move. We'll come back for him later. That's very Banjo-Kazooie looking over here. Alright, so I guess we're just going to walk around this area. And, uh, look. Another slope to go up. Why am I not surprised? And is this what I think it is? The entrance to World 1. The Grand Tome. All of which are right here. Magical gateways to new worlds like World 1. What creative names they have here for their geography. World 1. You'd think they'd at least give them a name based on the characteristic of the world. Okay. So there we go. That's World 1. Or, this will be World 1. We can go into World 1 from here. So I am going to save and quit now. Save and quit to the main menu. This has been the introduction to ukulele. Thank you for watching. This has been Crate Storm. My name is EP. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for future videos, including an unboxing I was talking about coming up on uh, coming between the 10th and the 12th of July. I'm going to roll the intro one more time, and then I will be out. I guess technically it's an outro too, but I probably shouldn't talk over it. I cannot send that message hard enough. Subscribe. See ya.